All right, Star StarCraft fans, welcome back. Matt and Steve SC, Matt here. Uh, this is the final game that I'm solo casting in the day four of the Ever OSL, a round of 16. This is Group D. This is going to be Type B versus Quanro. Yes, our final ZVZ of the night. And, uh, you know, I don't mind short ZVZ games. It means not having to split up the video. It means not having to link the videos. It means less uploading. But, yeah, I don't know, it's also not quite as fun. So, I was really hoping for more. We'll see if maybe we can get that from here. I got all excited after seeing a fantastic set of matches. Uh, you know, Jadong and Crazy Hydra and July and all these Zerg versus Zerg matches in the MSL recently. And I was really hoping for some of those here. But, anyways, we have uh, uh, Type B on the left and then Quanro, the sideways Zerg. Uh, his face is sideways. At first I thought it was just because he tilted his head, and then I actually saw him straight on and realized that he has a sideways face. So he is now the sideways Zerg. That's right, Quanro. Be proud of that nickname. They're going to play here on Heartbreak Ridge. So I've been kind of reviewing for you guys all the groups and, uh, what they are. Group D is Flash, Quanro, Stork, and Type B. Stork, looking sexy, uh, uh, spoiler warning beat Flash in an awesome, awesome game that was casted by Moltrap and a few others. Um, we did all the rest of the games from that day. It was day three, but uh, Stork, just a beast ball in here. I'm hoping that this is his year to win this. That would be pretty cool. Um, but uh, anyways, Flash currently 1-1 one and one in this, Stork 2-0. and oh. Quanro and Type B both 0-1. and one. And let me grab the colors real quick. We got Type B as blue. All right. And, uh, okay, I think they just changed the colors on me. So type B is yellow, and that's actually good. And then Quanro is red. Okay, I wouldn't have liked blue and light blue. Anyways, so Quanro and type B are 0 and 1. So whoever wins this game uh, puts the other one in the hole and then ties with Flash. Again, the only uh, group that is final is group A, where Movie and Jadong are going to be going on, uh, moving on to the round of 8. But uh, anything can happen in all these other groups. Again, specific things have to happen in order for people to win or, or be able to move on. But um, being 1-1, one and one, of course, is better than being 0-2. Oh so Stork pretty much, or at this point, guaranteed to move on, but, uh, but f um, almost guaranteed to move on. Again, not completely, because Flash is 1-1. One one. Stork could lose his next game. Flash could win his next game. And then you have two guys that are 2-1. and one. So again, pretty much anything can happen here. Um, there is still a chance uh, if, if, let's say, Quanro were to lose and Type B were to win, there would be still a chance for, for Quanro to move on. But uh, once you're 0-2, it's a pretty tough hole to get out of. Anyways, all right, heading back to the game here. Uh, so far, both, uh, both players doing the exact same thing. Uh, both of them are probably going to go for the, uh, the 12 pull. Um, or nowadays, it's kind of between the 12th. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a 12 pull. So both players are going to go for a 12 pull. So we actually see our first uh, mirror build of the night as far as the uh, the uh, spawning pool goes. Uh, all the other matches, the uh, spawning pool, they kind of went up at slightly different times. Both players getting it up right now. It looks like Quanro will be slightly in the lead. So as far as, as, far as stats go for these players, uh, Quanro is about 56% uh, against Zerg. Whereas Type B is about uh, 39%, so Quanro does have him a little bit there. Uh, granted, uh, Quanro also has about three times as many games, which says even more about Quanro. Interestingly enough, Quanro just played Type well, I say just played Type B in the Pro League about a month and a half ago, and uh, did beat him. So the favor, excuse me, folks, is going to be with uh, is going to be with Quanro here, uh, as far as things go. And an interesting placement for the pool, I'm wondering if uh, using that to kind of help block the drones there, that's what uh, Type B is doing. Um, if he does have to build a sunken, he can kind of build the sunken uh, uh, behind the pool, which will block it if Lynx come into attack, and then he can try to surround it with, uh, with uh, Zerglings. So that's actually uh, a, not a bad idea if it does ever come to that. Both players are exactly doing identical builds here. This is a long, narrow map, as you can see. Uh, it is Heartbreak Ridge. Heartbreak Ridge does tend to lend itself more to creative play, but usually I see that more with uh, not really as much with mirror matchups, but more with uh, you know ZVP and and uh, TVP and stuff like that. So again, both players doing the exact same thing at this point. Um, Heartbreak Ridge, I think, is probably one of my favorite maps. I've played a lot of games with Steve on this map, and uh, it is tough 
for Zurich to maintain that third base, which is something that, that we talk about uh, not with mirror matchups. But uh, a lot of announcers getting really excited. Yes. The uh, Overlord did not scout the Zerglings. Oh, no. Quanro might totally not be prepared with his four Zerglings. Let's see what happens, everybody. What's going to happen? Oh, no. Now he scouted it. Oh, man. This is, this is exciting. This is exciting StarCraft, guys. I'm telling you right now. Creep Colony coming up. Zerglings popping out. And Quanro is going to be completely prepared. Or is he? Because there's reinforcements. Oh, my. All right, yeah, I, I think Quanro is going to be able to handle this off. Uh, Quanro does have good micro. I'm What I'm worried about here, and he does get the lings out, I was worried about a possible run by more lings coming in. I might have to bite my tongue here. Oh, and the sunken colony getting out, and Quanro barely, barely holding on. Oh, type B has to leave. Wow, that was actually way too close, a little too close for comfort for Quanro there. Um, of course, he did not lose any drones from that. Uh, he did come out a little bit less. Wow! And Type B pumping out Zerglings. Type B going heavy, heavy Zerglings at this point. Um, and I think he has speed for the Zerglings. So uh, this actually could be really bad for Quanro. Type B does really need this win here. And uh, Quanro, I, uh, I mean, I'm assuming he's prepared for this. Because, or, he, or he's going to know this is happening because he does have his Overlord over there on the uh, left side of the map. At least I believe he does. Uh, I don't see it. Yeah, you'll notice uh, they pointed out on the Observer that, that Type B is not going for gas at all right now. He is focusing entirely on Lings. He's going to try to over overrun. You don't see this a ton. Quanro does have a lot of Lings. He is getting them arranged. And he does have... Oh, and almost getting scouted. Type B almost getting scouted there. Quanro... Man, he, he is good. He has good micro. He's going to have to micro like a beast. He is getting the spire up right now. He does have a lot of links, but not nearly as much. You can see the links just massing on the map there from type B. Sending out a scouting Zergling, and here they come. The massive Ling onslaught coming in, and Quanro's like, what he's thinking right now? This is what he's thinking. Oh, shit. That's what he's thinking. Um, oh my gosh. And type B is going to be able to overrun Quanro, but is Quanro going to be able to get out his Mutilus in time? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Quanro able to ward that off. What a freaking micro beast. I don't even know how he did it. I almost want to go back and watch that in slow motion. And the Mutalists are out. And GG by Type B. Just like that. Tried to go all in with Lings and could not beat the mighty sideways uh, Zerg. Sorry. Sorry about that, Type B. The sideways Zerg, uh, he won. He won, dude, with his sideways face. Let's even get a, let's get a good look at his sideways face here. Wow. Um, I I might I'm I'm gonna go back and watch this video after it's posted. Or I'll watch it right now and take a look at that uh, to try to analyze because that was crazy. I mean I I forgot to look at the food count, but Type B. I mean he had to have outnumbered the Lings by maybe ten or more. Um, like a almost just I don't know. That was just ridiculous. Very good play from Quanro, obviously. He got up the Sunken in time, and he was able to protect the Sunken enough. Um, and, uh, cool. So, Quanro's going to be 1-1, one one, tied with Flash. Type B, 0-2. and two. So, Type B most likely won't be moving on, but, uh, of course, anything is possible in the OSL. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and, uh, obviously, any comments, uh, you know, keep them flowing, keep them coming. Um, we've kind of leaned more towards OSL games uh, and uh, I've started getting the videos directly from uh, John747. Uh, uh, so thank you very much, John, for sending the videos. A huge shout out to you and uh, because I can commentate these faster. And hopefully we won't have just a bunch of mirror matchups uh, in the next games. So uh, maybe they can be more interesting. In fact, I will go ahead and look up the next set of games for you guys. For those wondering, I'm using the calendar on TeamLiquid.net. It's on the right side of the page. And the next set of games... Holy crap, it's going to be a whole bunch of Zerg versus Protoss. Yes, exciting. Looks like we're going to have Movie versus Jadong, Pure versus Zero, a Little Calm versus Shine, ZBZ, and then Stork versus Quanro. So that should be good. Hopefully, uh, I'm sure we'll probably get those casted because uh, I know Steve loves himself some Protoss versus Zerg. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, no promises, but we'll do our best. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.